morning guys it is Saturday and we are ready to go to church and we're gonna go see Jeff Dunn tonight and I'm wearing my combat boots so it's gonna be an awesome day with these things if I don't fall on my head and I'm Harry on the cover platinum album oh yeah if you give them Pepsi you give me the bad <laughs> you have a do clearly we've watched that commercial far too many times I blame Caitlin and the X Factor. Daddy's performing a Colombian tradition. <laughs> he has to slap his mouth. Dad, you're not doing it loud enough. You have to scream when you slap the snow. Ah! I wanted to tell you about my dream last night, Melissa. Oh God, what was it? I was at a theme park, right? And I got off a ride. What's the Taylor Swift? No, and there was bald eagles, and they were chasing me around the theme park. <laughs> The entire time. What? My dream last night. What? I was at a theme park and these bald eagles were chasing me around the theme park and I was screaming and they wouldn't leave me alone. Was and I was terrified. <laughs> I don't think Sophie likes me today. Um, a doodle doodle. She's giving me this face like... I hate you, Stina. This is my couch. My couch. My couch. Put your leg down. Sophie, that is not very ladylike of you. Oh my god, that's so cold. We're gonna go see Jeff Dunn. It's very thick. It's very thick. I'm cold. We are filming this area. Jeff Dunn here. Are you excited? I asked if you're excited. There's a lot of people here. How you doing, New Jersey? Ah, uh, thanks for coming out. Let's see the Giants. Jets. Patriots. <laughs> Redskins! All right, we all hate each other now. That's great! Yay! Thanks for coming out this afternoon. This is great. Always love coming to your part of the uh, lovely country here in lovely uh, Newark, New Jersey. And Walter will make those jokes later. Awesome. Thanks for coming out tonight. We'll see you on the next one. Jesus. We just got home from seeing Jeff Dunham, and I wasn't supposed to record or take any pictures during the show, but I may have snuck in a few clips, which I'm either going to add before or after this. So if you just saw them, then yeah, but if you haven't, I'll edit them after. But if you don't know who Jeff Dunham is, he's like a ventriloquist. Here's a picture of him. You can look him up on like Google or whatever. And he has all these different like puppets that he has, and he was hysterical. There was a point in his show where, like, he kind of, like, flubbed one of his lines and, like, he had the character, like, make fun of him. And it was really funny because he did a lot of improv, which I thought was pretty impressive, making up all that stuff on the spot. But he was really funny, so I give my mom props for finding such a great um, Christmas present. Greetings, Jersey Infidels! <laughs> Good to see you, Ahmed. Oh, it's good to see you too, Instagram number one. <laughs> so you sound happy to be here. I do? Yeah, well, I'm not. Why not? Where I am from, it is hot and dry and sandy. Yeah? Here it is cold and wet and bullshit. <laughs> hey, dude, Peanut, you're doing pretty good. How about you? I'm fine. That's good. That's good. That's good. Well, looks like a pretty good crowd tonight. You like it? I love it here in New Jersey. New Jersey. Uh, I told Santa Claus what I wanted, but he wouldn't take her. <laughs> Said she'd way down the sleigh. <laughs> Said he like ho 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 holy shit! <laughs> All right, last one. I didn't know if we we're gonna do this because I thought it was kind of this last one because I thought it was kind of crossing the line, but I think we've already done that a couple times. <laughs> so we'll end on this one. You read it. Hi, Gil Walter. Why do men like oral sex so much? Does it make them feel superior? 
Nope, it's just the best way to keep you from talking. <laughs> tomorrow is New Year's Eve and I'm going to be busy. We're going out to dinner, we're going to church, we're having people over the house. I'm going to do my 2012 recap on this vlog since I don't have that much footage for today. In January, I was on an episode of The Next Great Baker. On ne the Next Great Baker? Is that what it's called? On TLC with Cake Boss. Here's me. Clearly, that, that doesn't look like me. I don't know. In March, we, Melissa and I went to a We the Kings concert with Mayday Parade, Ann Arbor, and the Downtown Fiction, and that was awesome. And I got to meet Danny Duncan. I met him, this, this was the second time I met him. I met him at the Demi Lovato concert when they opened up for her. Um, I also got a job. You can see my great uniform. Can't tell you where I worked because I don't want them to find me. And then we went to Disney World on spring break with my school. Me and Caitlin. Here's a picture of us at Magic Kingdom. Yay! That was a really fun vacation except for the first night where I pretty much got food poisoning. <laughs> what else happened? Ooh, um, I sent Charles Sheppy a package and he opened it on his mail vlog. This is what I sent them down here. A keep common vlog on. And then he opened it in a mail vlog in March. I met Andy Grammer because he came to perform at my school. Here's a picture of me and Andy Grammer. That was fun. What else? Um, ooh, the puppy has turned one year old on Cinco de Mayo. We call them our little Mexican children, but... There's Cody now and then, and there's Sophie down there. And then, in May, um, Nicole and I went to a We the Kings concert that they had at a Macy's in New York City. And the greatest thing happened. I got to meet Charles Trippy. Funny story with this picture. So, we were only allowed to do, they were only allowed to do a signing. So me and my friends stayed behind, like, on the side. And after the signing, I was like, Charles, can I take a picture? And he, like, turned around to security. And he was like, I don't know, can you? And so, like, he starts moving closer to me where I am, like, behind the, the rope. And then I move closer to him. And then he's like, all right, three, two, one. And then he turns around and my friend takes the picture. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, thank you so much. And he's like, oh, no problem. And, like, if you look at the picture, there's, like, a security guard, like, right back there. And it looks like she's, like, coming to yell at us, but it was so awesome, and I was seriously freaking out the whole time. What else happened? Um, Savannah's birthday. I saw, um, Kobe Calais in concert with Gavin McGraw. Uh, what else? I got to feed a giraffe. That was pretty cool. It was at the carnival by my house, which was random, but I fed a giraffe. Um, not many people can say that, I guess. We had a vacation in Bush Gardens. That was a lot of fun. And there was a free Kelly Pickler concert that day. I didn't like Kelly Pickler, so that was good. And then, also in June, Nicole and I... I go to a lot of concerts with Nicole, if you can't tell. But Nicole and I went to go see Demi Lovato in concert in June. And that was one of the best concerts I have ever been to. She was amazing, and Hot Chow Ray opened. And that was a lot of fun. In July, Nicole and I went to Warp Tour together, and I got to meet... <laughs> Charles should be again once again fangirl I have like a problem but you know what it was so worth it and then who else did I get to meet I got to meet um, Adam Lazara who is the lead singer of Taking Back Sunday and I used to in 8th grade I was the biggest Taking Back Sunday fan and he was such a chill guy he was so awesome he was just well he like literally was just walking around Warped Tour and people like he is he doesn't really look like he used to look when back when Taking Back Sunday was like extremely popular. They're still popular, but you know. But he was just walking around and I thought it was just I was just like, Oh, can I take a picture? He's like, Oh yeah, sure. So he was just come with me. Also met Travis and Yoshi. Um, We the Kings, if you don't know. What up? And how can I forget? Me and Danny Duncan again. In June is this June or is this July? I think this is in July. My pen pal Beth, she went to VidCon over the summer, and she wrote me a letter, and she met Daily Grace, and she got her to write a little something for me. So I have that actually hanging up on this bulletin board in the back. You can't see it from where we are, 
but that was so nice of her, and I was freaking out, and Grace, like, reblogged it, and I was like, yeah! And then in August, Nicole and I went to another Demi Lovato concert. <laughs> Can we just all take a moment to appreciate this photograph? Okay. I went in the room, and I was literally speechless, and I don't even... Like, I came out of the room not even knowing if I spoke English to her, or if I said my name, or if I even said hello, or if I smiled in this picture. I was so, like, on the moon. I came out, and I was practically crying, because, like, she's seriously one of the biggest inspirations to me. I was crying, and then I called my roommate, and I was, like, screaming on the phone to her, and she was like, I have no idea what you're saying, because you're talking so fast. And I seriously relive that moment every chance I get. It was the best day of my life. We also went to a train concert... And then in September, Caitlin and I moved into our apartment at school. Here, picture of my room. When it's actually clean, you'll notice that I very rarely make my bed. Once we get back to school, you will know that. My cousins that you saw on a few, a few, actually yesterday's vlog. Was yesterday? Two days ago? I don't remember. But Melania and Mateo were born in September. And then um, the U.S. Women National player, Christy Rampone, came to my school, and I took a picture there, and I got to hold the gold medal, and that thing is heavy, man. I don't know how you wear that around your neck for so long. Then we went to Fright Fest in October, Taylor Swift's Red came out. I'm, like, reading off my little list here on my computer. That's why I'm not looking at the camera the whole time. Uh, I voted for the first time. We went to the Olympics gymnastics tour. That was fun. Um, the season ended at my job. So my job is kind of over with right now. If you know what my job is, you understand what that means. I also got a new car. This is Eva 2.0. Not to be mistaken with Eva, the original Eva. I also got to meet Megan and Liz. They had a free concert at the Mall by Us. There is me and them. That was a fun day. And then in December... My 20th birthday, and I started these vlogs, and we saw Jeff Dunham today, so that was pretty exciting. So overall, I would rate my 2012, I thought it was a great year. I got to do a lot of things, I got to meet a lot of, you know, some of the people that I look up to, and I got to do a lot of fun things with my friends, travel for the first time by myself, um, live in an apartment, you know, a lot of stuff. So, overall, 2012 was pretty awesome, and I really can't wait for 2013. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog for today. I hope you stayed with me in my little ramble of 2012. What I want you guys to do is, in the comments, leave one or two things that happened to you this year that you really looked back on and thought, that is one of the best things that happened to me this year. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye! Never sing again.